Hi everyone, welcome back to the second part of the squash book. Unfortunately, I've had to do it in two halves because my phone decided to stop halfway through. So anyway, this is the second half of how to put it together. Um, in the first video, we attached the ribbon on the back and now we're going to place this onto one of the covers that we've previously made okay I'll go through the measurements again but we'll just place this on here kind of central on so excuse if my head gets in the way and we'll place that one there okay not quite straight but hey how it will do so what I'm going to show you is um, when it pulls out like so okay so now we're gonna line the pages and as you see I've already attached the white ones um, so now we're going to add some some pink ones I'm not going to completely decorate it inside this is just an idea for you on how to put one together basically but you don't need to see me uh, matting and layering lots and lots of different pieces of card but we'll just put a couple on um, and what you're going to do is you're going to actually line it on both sides because you can add photographs on both sides journaling um, like the one I did for the launch of the memory books I actually put the months of the year um, January, February, March, April, May, blah, blah, blah. And then reversed on the other side and added the rest of the months. So, you know, you can have, you could have this as a wedding book, baby book, just general little memories, um, tiny little photographs. You could have them on little mounts and then you could have journaling on this side or you could have dates or days or the date um, or the year. It really is up to you how you want to decorate them. But as you'll see, these just mat and layer um, onto the book. And we'll just do a couple more on this side. I mean, you can add one here and here uh, as well. But we'll just add a couple more to this other side. It's not a full tutorial because, you know, you, you don't need to see me decorating it in different bits and pieces. But this is just to show you how to construct a squash book. But uh, my apologies for it being in two halves. I don't know what my phone's playing at, but I think maybe it's getting a tad full of photographs and uh, videos and such like. So I think it might have to have a... A bit of a clear up to make some space for some more videos so I shall just add a couple more uh, you can do this with uh, tape if you prefer um, I, I do prefer wet glue because it just gives you that little bit of wiggle time I hope this is in shot everyone I'm still all new to this video malarkey as you can tell but just wanted to give you an idea but this is called a squash book anyway and you'll feel you'll actually see plenty of tutorials on um, probably Pinterest or um, YouTube um, they've been around for a long long time right so that's it completed for now but like I say you could add different mat and layers to those uh, portions of the squash book but as you can see they squeeze in now and that one would fall naturally into its shape this one might need a little bit of teasing there we go and then that one naturally falls into place okay so now we have oh, that. I'm just going to add some tape to this. So just going to 
add some red liner tape to this part you don't want to stick your ribbon across this part because that's going to wrap around the cover so you know whatever decoration you put on the front you'll have to make sure the ribbon is free um, because you need that ribbon for when you extend the book outwards so I'll show you what I mean in a minute so we'll just trim those bits off there there we go green shot there we go always conscious that I know what I'm doing but you can't see what I'm doing and then I'm just going to bring this to me just a minute so I can peek over the top and basically you just want to try and line it up with the base like so and squash down so then what you will do is you will tie this off here in a pretty bowl and you'll naturally find the length of ribbon that you need and we can trim that off and that off and there is your squash book and then you, you mean you, you could add more decoration to the front but be very careful you really need you could have a topper underneath there of course but you really need your ribbon across the front um, because when you open it, this part of the ribbon needs to be free so that the book unfolds. See? But then, of course, you can add some matting layers to the other side. So, whilst we've got the book open, we will add a few more layers. Hopefully the video hasn't gone off again all on its own. So I'll stick that down there. And place another one on. So I take it that a lot of you will be creating albums over the bank holiday weekend. Because I've, I've seen a few posts today on Facebook saying that all your albums, your memory books have arrived. So uh, I thought I'd better get this video up um, so that you could all have a play. It's just a nice addition to put inside your memory books, just something a little bit, a little bit different and a bit of dimension to your albums. So that little wow factor. Nice to find a different folder, a different flap, or a different pattern. Um, so, if you're anything like me, you know, you love different folds and things. I, I love stuff like that. And you've learned something new. You just, you're like a sponge. You just want to keep learning different things. So couple more of these on I just have to lift up that that edge to slide it in there we go I do a couple more sure that you when you do place your layers on you do make sure you've got a gap and you're not gluing on the score line um, we'll put some more on this side and then we'll we'll leave it a day I don't want to bore you to death on how to decorate it I'm sure you've got 
ideas of your own already and themes and what papers you're going to use and if you're anything like me I'm a bit of a magnet for pattern papers I can't walk past a, a craft shop without buying pattern papers I am terrible I think I've got that many pattern papers now I could open up shop just can't help it there used to be a time though and I think you'll all be familiar with this where you buy a pattern paper bag and then you just can't use it it's just far too pretty to use so we always end up buying two or three of the same pads so that we can play with one and we can keep one to stroke but I think we're all the same I think it must be a crafty thing right there we go so of course you could add a, a white layer here and then add your dates, your pictures, your um, journaling etc etc and same here you put a pink layer here you can put pattern papers inside it really is up to you how you wish to design it but then these pieces fold in these pieces fold in and those pieces fold back and then you can tie it off in a pretty bow like so and that is your squash book so quickly measurements in case you didn't catch them in the first video um, your grey board you'll need two pieces they actually measure five inches square okay you need two of those. Then you will need, oh, she says, let's open him out properly. I think we've come undone there. We've not put enough tape down. There we go. Make sure you use red liner tape and not double sided. Right, now you're going to need three pieces of card for the inside of this book, and they are going to measure eight and a half inches square and you need three the pattern papers for the hardcover are seven inches square and you need two of those and then your mat and layers for inside the book you need 18 squares and they measure uh, four by four so it's four inches square and then you're going to cut them in half Again, like I said in the first video, when you put these three pieces of card together, make sure that that score line is the same going from top to bottom all the way across your album. And then you are good to go. So I think that's everything. My apologies if I've confused anyone. Um, and my apologies again for it being in two halves. So I shall have to check to see why I've got no memory left. But anyway, um, that is your little squash book so I hope you could follow that one um, with my confusing instructions but there you go that's your little squash book thank you for joining me and uh, I hope you'll join me again soon for some more fun bye for now